गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन बायोलॉजी क्लासेस वी आर ऑन चैप्टर वन द लीफ द प्रीवियस टॉपिक वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वॉज आर्टिफिशियल वेजिटेटिव प्रोपोगेशन आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ वेजिटेटिव प्रोपोगेशन एडवांटेजेस और बेनिफिट्स ऑफ वेजिटेटिव प्रोपोगेशन देर आर फोर बेनिफिट्स ऑफ दिस मेथड द फर्स्ट इज वेजिटेटिव प्रोपोगेशन इज अ फास्टर मेथड टू प्रोड्यूस अ न्यू प्लांट इफ यू प्रैक्टिस दिस मेथड ऑफ वेजिटेटिव प्रोपोगेशन द न्यू डिजायर प्लांट दैट यू वॉन्ट टू प्रोड्यूस इट विल बी produce very fast you don't have to wait for a very long time second there is no difference between parent plant and produced plant so the second benefit is the new plant that will be produced by this method will be same as the parent plant there will be no difference between the parent plant and the new plant which is produced third it is very useful method for production of seedless plants such as grapes and banana now this uh, this method of vegetative propagation is widely used in the production of seedless plants why seedless plants particularly because they do not have seed the plants grow from a seed but what about those plant which do not have a seed how will they grow they will be grown by artificial vegetative propagation so what are those plants which are seedless and can be easily grown by this method grapes and banana last is the plant produced by vegetative propagation bear flowers and fruits earlier than the new plant produced by seeds so as compared to the plants which are grown naturally by the process of by the use of seed the plants which are grown by this method of vegetative propagation they bear flower and fruits very fast so the production of new plant is very very quick so these are the advantages of vegetative propagation there are sev- uh, certain disadvantages also so what are the disadvantages of vegetative propagation all plants propagated by this method have same features thus they are likely to be infected by the same infection it means if a parent plant was having any kind of infection or any kind of disease the same disease and infection will be transferred to the new plant the new plant which is produced by this method so the disease will be carried from one plant to another or parent plant to the new plant so this is a disadvantage or drawback of this process second it can result in the destruction of entire crop as there is no dispersal of plants there are chances of overcrowding so what is the second disadvantage it means that there is the whole crop or the entire crop will be destructed because there will be overcrowding of new plants overcrowding means the new plants will be grown very near to each other and because they grow very fast you cannot stop it 
so it will result in overcrowding of new plants which can also result in the destruction of the entire crop which is produced by this method so these are the two disadvantages of vegetative propagation now let's discuss certain keywords first is lamina it is green flat and expanded part of leaf petiole basal part of the leaf by which it is attached to the leaf of the stem photosynthesis process of preparation of food by the leaf with the help of carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll tendril leaves modified into thin thread like coil strands that is all for today chapter 1 the leaf is over the questions will be followed after the class revise the topics clear your doubts if any before beginning the second chapter thank you students have a good day